いたずらごときで済むわけねえだろめんどくせえやめせえ見てんじゃねえくらけろほらほらほら見てんじゃねえめんどくせえ。もんじゃねえぞてめえも潰されてえのか終わったか Now let's talk about the character. This Halloween Grim Joe came out in October of 2019, so he is a bit outdated. However, with his recent resurrection, he has the best soul trait combo in the game with 14% recharge and 16% strong attack damage. These are the accessories and character links I used for Grim Zhao. I used the Spotted Chair, 30%, Fortification Pill, and Classic Teacup. And for the links, I just did 12% recharge and strong attack damage. Now, take a look at Grim Zhao's skills. He has 20% normal attack damage, 36% strong attack damage, 40% devastation, which is 40% damage to his special move. 40% recharge, plus one frenzy, so his strong attacks hit twice as much. Plus two second debilitator, so his poison lasts two extra seconds longer. He has increased stats and a chance against technique attribute hollows, plus 20% damage to poison enemies, and sprinter plus one. So now taking a look at his kit, he has poison on all of his attacks. His normal attack hits four times with the last hit being AoE. His strong attack 1 is a lunge forward. His strong attack 2 is a 625 AoE around himself. His strong attack 3 is a standard full screen. And here is his special move. 
見せもんじゃねえぞてめえも潰されてえのか Now, to rate this Grimjow out of these three categories, I'd rate his design 9 out of 10 because incorporating the ball and chain with his attacks is a clever on K Lab's part. But you know, if only Bambietta used her sword. Is he fun to play? I'd rate that 7 out of 10, only because his range isn't all that great compared to the newer characters. And not having any ailment immunity makes us、so、have to dodge all the ailment pools. Now, is he strong? I'd rate that 7 out of 10 as well. He can easily clear inheritance trials, and his soul trait is the best in the power attribute. But just out of his nature of being a character that came out in 2019, he easily got outclassed by some of the newer characters.